Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, Mrs. Davis has a cell phone plan with a cost of $25 per month for unlimited calling plus 20 cents per text message. She wants to pay at most $75 per month. What is the domain in the function that represents this situation? So let's see, what do we know about Mrs. Davis? Well, she has this type of cell phone plan, right? Where she needs to pay $25 for the unlimited calls, right? That she can make. So what does that mean? It means that she can call as many as she wants to and she will pay $25, okay? What else is she gonna pay for? Well, it says plus. Now remember, plus means addition. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down my plus sign, okay? Plus what else? Well, apparently she needs to pay 20 cents per text messages. Crazy, right? Imagine nowadays we pay for texting. Oops, we will be poor by now, right? So what else do we know? Well, it says she wants to pay at most $75 per month. So let's analyze that. What does it mean by at most? Well, it means that she's okay to pay $25. She's willing to pay $75, but she doesn't want to go above $75. Okay? So there is an inequality that we can use for that. And that will be my symbol right there. She wants to pay less than or equals to $75. Is that right? Okay. What else are they asking me? Well, it says, what is that? domain of this function okay so remember domain is gonna be who domain is my x values so we'll come back to see what is it that represents my x values according to my uh, problem okay so let's see now let's see if we can write down an inequality for that inequality means what is it that she is paying for Okay, so first of all, we know that she's going to pay for the calls, right? And she doesn't pay per call. She pays $25 for as many as she wants to make. Now, she also pays for the text messages. Okay, and those two together needs to be less than or equals to $75 because she doesn't want to go above $75, okay? So let's see if we can replace some values here. What do I know about the cost? Well, she pays $25 for that unlimited calls, and then she pays for texting, right? How much does she pay for each text? It says 20 cents. So we're gonna write down 0.20 T, where T, is the number of texts that she's sending, okay? And all of that needs to be less than or equals to $75. So if you look at my problem here, then now I know who's X. X is gonna be my, and I'm gonna write it over here, is my text messages, very good. So when I finish my question, uh, my answer will be telling me how many are the text messages that she can actually send, okay? So now we're gonna work on my inequality, okay? So the whole idea here is to solve for T, okay? So in order for me to solve for T, I need to get rid of some numbers here. So I need to get rid of 25, is that right? So how can I eliminate 25? Well, I will need to Subtract 25 on both sides. And my 25 on the left cancels out. It gives me a zero. And I'm gonna bring down the 0 0.20 T. Less than or equals to 75 minus 25 is a 50. Okay, what do I need to do next? Well, I still need to leave T by itself, right? So I need to get rid of the 0 0.20. 0 0.20, it's multiplying T. 
So the opposite of multiplying is dividing, okay? So I'm going to divide by 0 0.20. And whatever you do on one side, remember you do it to the other side, okay? So my 0 0.20 cancels out and I ended up with T less than or equals to and if you divide 50 divided by 0 0.20, we get 250, okay? So now let's analyze what, what is that meaning of that. Well, it means that Mrs. Davis can send 250 texts, but she can also send less than that if she wants to, because my symbol reads less than or equal to okay so that's that's the most text messages that she can send okay she cannot send more than 250 okay that's basically what my inequality is telling me and if you look at the answer choices okay i do see remember that t is the x values so let me go back over here so this is like saying x is less than or equals to 250 okay so if you look at the answer choices what do you see well i see letter a that has the first part of it what about the zero on the left what does that mean well the zero on the left means that she can actually make zero or she can actually send zero text messages right if she doesn't want to send any text messages, it's okay. So zero is the least amount of text messages that she can actually send. And the most will be 250, okay? So therefore, my answer, it is letter A for that one.